What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Kuroko no Basket. Today we're doing episodes 47 and 48. We are getting so close to the end of season two. I am very, very excited to continue and finalize, finish this match with Yosen. We got Himuro just like saying, all right, I'm going to start going ham. You ready? So it's Himuro and uh, Kagami versus Kiyoshi and Murasaki Bara. The matchups are insane. I am very excited. Obviously, Kuroko's phantom shot, all that, everything is ugh, it's so good right now. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Don't forget to check out that Patreon. Early access, full length, up to one week, four episodes ahead, all that jazz. Let's hop right on into it. Kuroko no Basket, episode 47. This one's called It's Obvious. Duh. Okay. Episode 47. It's obvious. I need their relationship to be reconciled. I actually like Himura. I like them as a children. I really enjoyed them. If Almine is saying that, holy smokes. I know, right? At a glance. Not even that we've seen him play. The immediate jump shot. Wait. <laughs> Wait. The pump fake without the pump. I mean, a baby pump fake. Such a perfect fake. Oh, beautiful. It was elegant, seamless. Wet. That sounds like something Himuro would do, though. I know, right? He's just so elegant. Minimizes every movement he needs to do, you know? So smoothly. Each element is of the highest quality, exactly. Wow, that's interesting to think about. Strictly to orthodox methods, he just excels at every one of those. It's like a refined dance. Oh, wow, it's a great way of explaining it. Thank you, Rico. Wow, and I think he does. Kagami still does see him like that. That's the sign of a good rivalry. That does happen when you care about someone, you know. So you need to be able to sever that bond completely. For self-validation and, you know, approval, I get that. You know, in order to... Let's take Bakugo. He doesn't want to fight... Deku or Todoroki, unless he knows they're at their strongest. Mirage shot. I think Himuro's right. Subconsciously, Kagami cares about him too much. He'll never be able to go at him like he's killing him, you know? Alright, as long as you say it'll happen, I got faith in you, Kiyoshi. Yeah, I don't, Murasaki Bar doesn't. I don't think so. Izuki. Over with the... Whoa, Kiyoshi. Is this what he was talking about? Not my specialty, but the outside pass. From the three. Hell yeah. What? Yeah, they're just switching, like, permanent positions? Or what are we doing? We got Tepe, like, normally doing the Izuki roll? Just straight leading the charge in the paint? What's going on? Ooh. 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 Almine figured it out. If Almine says that, then this is crazy. Ooh, great pass. We're doing the mind games. Yes, absolutely. If there's ever in a, a, a situation in which Izuki can shine, it's right now with the backwards pass. I'm still gonna win. <laughs> I don't intend to lose either. Oh, the vice grip. Oh, oh, this man, he's too crisp with it. He said, yeah. 
Well, now he's just going to make it then. Thanks, Murasaki Bara. Makes it easy for us. And then he felt this instinct to do it, even though he said, I'm not going to do it because it's a repeated attack. The same plant, right? Side pass over to someone new, my boy Junpei. We're down one nine. Yeah. Now you always have to think, what if he makes another one, you know? Yeah. That's why Junpei said that first one is so important, you know? He's being officially manipulated, physically and mentally. That's the iron heart for you right there. What would that be? can't do it himself so he needs kuroko to do it for him that's so sad but i respect it at the same time he's like i truthfully need to let go if i want to actually take this serious and unlock my potential but he still can't do it you know i understand i hope kuroko doesn't throw it out though i hope he keeps it like hidden oh it's obvious the title of this episode between the brother of our past and the the brother of our present you know Shouts out Kagami, it's my boy. It's hopefully, especially with Kuroko throwing that out, should be a new Kagami. Reinvigorated, cold minded, cold hearted. Or as Kimuro said, cold minded, hot hearted. Very, very true. Ace is someone you can always count on to make this shot in these hard situations. Kagami! You got Kuroko even saying it. Come on. Wow. Oh, he drew the drew the foul. Or I'm curious. I'm curious. The Vice Gripper, man. Kiyoshi is the legend himself. Oh, he's like literally done. Oh, no. I'm always been overworking. Great save. Thank you, Kuroko. If there was one character in the show I want to retire and have an amazing life, just fruitful, beautiful rest of their life, it has to be Kiyoshi. Like, this man is just... He's selfless. He only cares about everyone else. Come on. I got goosebumps right now. Good help. Good steal. Take some pressure off on defense. Shouts out. My boy goes for the fast break. Still getting triple teamed immediately. Hell yeah. Hit him with the perma screen. Meets Obey. Let's go. And now you got a delay in grabbing that for my boy Kagami. Let's go. Oh, this shit gets me too excited, I swear. We're only five points behind now. We've been making some comebacks. Playing the opening too? Like, come on. It's just You got Kuroko yelling. You never see that. God damn. God damn. Oh, he's got the new re-motivation. He's reinvigorated. Is he going on offense? Give me the ball. Oh my god. They literally animated him like he's a fucking colossal titan. Look at this guy. Uh, talk about an episode. God damn. Okay. On to episode 48. I don't want to lose. That's what I'm saying. The boy who's only played defense is going to offense now. What? Thanks for waking the monster. Oh, God. Triple teaming him. He just grabbed the ball over them and just fucking stand on standing dunk it. He can literally box them, back them into the a fucking paint, and then just. I've seen videos of tall people doing this in actual basketball games. There's nothing you could do. This is literally just broken. And I love how they animate how much wind pressure. Oh, look at that. He's just that big. Oh, my God. 
The Hammer of Destruction. Mjolnir. It really just is not fair. What is this, my in Shaq? He's breaking the backboards? Literally, oh my god. Of this shitty sport. Basketball is a game of shortcomings, he says. This man literally knocked down the hoop. Well, at least this gives us a mandatory timeout while they while they repair the goddamn court. I've seen Almina do that before, break the break the hoop. <laughs> due to a broken hoop? Not the Shoei Junior High. We getting a flashback? Damn. That's rough. Now he's learning Vice Claw too? He just straight up adapted you. <laughs> yep. Wow. <laughs> just runs through him like he's a goddamn rhinoceros. This is hard to watch, genuinely. Oh my lord. He had to, he's trying to finish Kiyoshi off. He's getting in his head. But did you have fun? Oh, that was actually kind of a good roast. That was kind of a good comeback. I can't lie. He feels so much guilt and pressure not being able to do what he wants, you know, per se. Yeah. Oh my god. My man is such a real one. Hell yeah. You got Kuroko pissed. Ooh. Ooh. I just got done watching some One Piece and I know about that elongated will. His will is with us, motherfucker. Oh, talk about a flashback already. I mean, they do know their, their personalities clash all the time. Kuroko is nothing but passion. Murasaki Bar is the opposite. I don't mean to relate this to Naruto, but I just am now sort of relating it to Naruto, and I'm thoroughly enjoying that, because this is my favorite debate and argument in Naruto growing up. Murasaki Bara is like Neji, uh, Kuroko is like Naruto, or Rock Lee, depending on your perspective. But it's the, it is the good old classic saying of talent versus hard work, you know, and I'm always of the belief that talent uh, or work working hard beats talent when talent forgets to work hard so i am um, on team kuroko right here even though i get where murasaki bar is coming from him being the pinnacle of that advantage you can be having given at birth you know skill and natural talent yes however exactly exactly Despite his lack of interest, he's only experienced wins and victory due to his natural born talent. And without talent, with his love, he's experienced nothing but hopelessness before finding his way. So, they literally have different views, paths, ideals on life completely. So, I get it. Who do you think is right? That's a great question. Fair enough, Namine. Fair enough. I'm Team Kuroko. Oh. This is a beef that's been needing to be settled for years and years and years. Don't swipe at it, because that's when you'll miss it. Just literally keep your arm stationary in the spot you know the ball is going to have to go anyway, so... Oh, he, like, misjudged the angle because Kuroko was doing a pass. You know, way more, uh, you know. Shouts out, Kuroko. 
he tried to break it like Morisaki Bara. <laughs> That's funny. I was about to say, don't tell me Kuroko's solo guarding him. I know. What kind of mark is this? Murasaki Bara could step on Kuroko and not even notice. And he's gone. Now where is he? Is he going to steal it or... Yep. Oh. And Charlie drew the foul. Just from his being too big. Nice. Let's, if we could foul Murasaki Bar out of here, I'm down. Do whatever you gotta do. He can't just, in terms of Murasaki Bar, he can't just helplessly walk around inside the paint now, yeah. Because he has to worry about Kuroko being there. New formation of defense, as Kuroko said, that formation. Full court man to man. Where's Kuroko? He's stealing the hell out of that ball. Oh, you switched marks without you knowing. Ah, I like it. Hell yeah, because you have no idea where he's at constantly. Stealth full court man to man. Immediate in a shot formation. Immediate. Oh, immediate buckets. My man's form is so... <laughs> Come on, Kiyoshi. Get that grin on. I need you to smile, my man. We're only down four. Can't pass. You got to keep the ball to yourself. And if you do that, Kuroko is still there. And then Izuki with the, also the beautiful shot. Let's go. End of the third quarter. What? We're down one point. What? Because of buzzer beater or what? What do you mean? Mm, so we're down still four. Damn, Murasaki Bar is going through it. Yeah, that's a valid point. The only reason it works for Murasaki Bar is because his long ass step range. That man, one step, and he's already at the other three point line, you know? Like, if you think you can do it, I have faith in you, Kagami. I will, you know, give it to you, but. This man is crying. He's so elated right now. What is going on? <laughs> We're wondering the same thing, buddy. You love to hear it. Aww. He is the true iron heart of the squad. I'll <laughs> <laughs> beat up on Tepe for a second. That is a great team. We're a team because we support each other. Kiyoshi honestly has, ever since he was introduced, has been just rising, rising, rising in my top three. He's easily in my top three. He might be my favorite character in this whole show. Like, I would genuinely, if he was like... If Kiyoshi was on my team and a higher up, I would follow him probably to the ends of the earth. He's like my Ervin, you know? Like, Kiyoshi's like the fucking Captain America of the squad to me. Like, if he says, Avengers, assemble, go fight, I'm there. Nothing I can argue. Sadie! Fight! How much time we got left? Oh, no. This is going to be ending in, like, a few minutes, isn't it? We only got, like, a couple minutes left. What are you? This fucking guy, bro, I tell you. Two absolute fantastic episodes of Kuro, uh, Kuroko no Basket. I can't lie, I didn't get a single word written down. That's how you know I'm just enthralled and sucked in the whole, both episodes. Um, I'm loving the 
there's a lot going on like normally with a lot of gom matches it's mainly one to two characters versus versus the gom and like a lot of their story and how they interact with each other we have a lot going on here it is most definitely murasaki bara versus kuroko murasaki bara versus uh kiyoshi then it's on the other side himuro versus kagami and they're and they're so deep intrinsic both of them whether it's like murasaki bara and kuroko how they just have differentiating views like upon like world views like there's nothing that they can say to each other that will change each other's mind then you have himuro and kagami who kagami is more of like a I, how i would suppose i would be in like this sort of rivalry like yes obviously i want to beat you and i want but i don't want to cut our <sighs> and i get it i get where himuro is coming from because i can't truly prove that i'm better than you if my body subconsciously doesn't go as hard as it can on you because of how much it cares for you i get that but i don't know there's got to be a way where i don't know man that's a rough situation shouts out to kagami having kuroko get rid of the ring because he can't do it himself kagami's a real ass dude too kind too friendly amazing ah <sighs> shouts out man everyone's going crazy right now these this match this bad these Basketball, every, everything is going stupid. This is Kuroko at its peak right now, at its pinnacle, and I'm loving every bit of it. I truthfully am. Man, I need more episodes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, I am very excited to be finishing this out. Don't forget to leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Please subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out that Patreon for early access, full length, all that jazz. Hopefully you guys have a great day. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Peace out, Dapper Squad.